And now, the Delaware Valley's only primetime newscast, Fox 29's The 10 O'Clock News. Glassboro State College will soon be changing its name thanks to a very generous gift. Burlington County industrialist Henry Rowan has donated, listen to this, $100 million to the school that will soon bear his name. The gift is the largest private donation to any public college in history. Most of the money will be used to set up an engineering school, which Rowan considers paramount to the future of the educational process. In the hopes and the realization that an engineering school engineering education here in South Jersey is possible. We're delighted to have been able to participate. The 68-year-old businessman is the founder of Inductotherm, a New Jersey company that makes industrial furnaces. Glassboro State will officially become Rowan College of New Jersey later this fall. Good morning. This is Newsday Today. As we told you yesterday, Glassboro State College is coming into some money, lots of money. But that's not the only change on the horizon at this South Jersey College. I'm really thrilled because I think everyone here recognizes that education is the foundation of society. Industrialist Henry Rowan is donating $100 million to the school the largest gift ever received by a public institution of higher learning. In return, the school officials are saying thanks by renaming the school Royan College of New Jersey. Among other things, the money will be used to create a school of engineering. And finally, Christmas in July for a state college in New Jersey. A businessman named Henry Rowan has given the school the largest donation any one person has ever given to a public college, $100 million. Rowan made that money in the furnace business. By the way, the school is now called Glassboro State College, but that won't be its name for long. In gratitude, the name of the school is being changed to, what else, Rowan College. This is the CBS Morning News for Tuesday, the 7th of July. Good morning, everyone. I'm John Stair. And I'm Meredith Vieira. Here. Talk about generous. A New Jersey businessman has made the largest ever gift to a public college. Henry Rowan donated $100 million yesterday to Glassboro State College. The school's biggest gift before yesterday was $100,000. In appreciation, officials say they will rename the college after him. Rowan, who went to school in Massachusetts, said he wanted to repay the state where he made his fortune. Glassboro State College is getting a record donation and a new name. Margie Smith reports the financially strapped South Jersey school is the recipient of the largest gift ever to a public college in the U.S. This is the man giving Glassboro State College $100 million of his money and his name. School officials asked South Jersey entrepreneur Henry Rowan for a modest donation. Rowan said he'd give a large one if it were used to build an engineering school. There's a need here. There are many engineering schools in the uh, country already developed, and I'm kind of thrilled with the idea of developing engineering education here in South Jersey. The 68-year-old Rowan is a graduate of the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, but he grew up in work worked all his life in New Jersey. Rowan is chairman and CEO of Rancocas-based Inductotherm Industries, which makes industrial furnaces. His endowment also establishes a scholarship fund so children of Inductotherm employees can attend the college for free. Money left over will be used for other special projects, but cannot be used to plug budget gaps brought on by cuts in state funding. The financially strapped college last year announced that some degree programs would be eliminated. School officials say today's gift won't change that. As for the name change, Glassboro President Dr. Herman James says a mere thank you for the donation didn't seem adequate. When he said he would give us $100 million, we said we will change the name and institution uh, for you. The gift is believed to be the largest donation ever given to a public college in the United States. Today, Rowan jokingly admitted parting with all that money takes some getting used to. I think six months ago, I decided something I wanted to do, and getting used to the idea takes at least six months. <laughs> 
It could take a couple years for the School of Engineering to get off the ground, but the name change should come more quickly. Glassboro State College could officially be the Rowan College of New Jersey by the time students return to classes in the fall. Margie Smith, NJN News, Glassboro. And joining us now, Henry Rowan, chairman and founder of Inductotherm Industries Incorporated. Good evening, Mr. Rowan. Raising money in these tough economic times is difficult. $100 million is better than winning the New Jersey and Pennsylvania lotteries combined. Why did you choose Glassboro State? Well, I'm not sure I chose Glassboro State so much as they chose me. Uh, they first approached me, uh, Phil Tominia, uh, vice president of development there, uh, first contacted me with regard to a uh, school of business or, or contributing to the school of business that already exists. And that didn't have near the appeal to me of, of forming and founding a school of engineering there at Glassboro. So uh, in essence, they chose me rather than my choosing them. Well, in doing so, um, was there a stipulation in your gift, that being perhaps the renaming of the college in your honor? Uh, that came up as we talked of a larger gift in School of Engineering, and uh, they did suggest uh, as an inducement that that uh, uh, might be possible. But I think the real interest is in getting a School of Engineering here in South Jersey at a school of the Glassboro caliber where there has not been uh, the engineering education. How do you feel about having a school named in your honor then? What does that feel like? Uh, that, uh, that is a true honor, and I, I am delighted, of course. Well, you want Glassboro to establish an engineering school. What advice are you offering to the school in order to accomplish that? Well, I'm not sure I'm qualified to offer advice in uh, developing an educational program. Uh, I certainly uh, uh, have suggested that it not be another uh, Me Too school, but rather be a first-class tough school of engineering where they can turn out some uh, really first-class technical students. Well, you must have given the school some indication of, of what you would like to see done in order to accomplish that. Uh, the, the only thing I had required or requested was that it be a broad uh, spectrum curriculum, not just a school of, uh, of one type of engineering, but all of the different types of engineering uh, with enough uh, background in each so that the students, graduating students, uh, can go on to get their professional uh, engineering licenses in the state of New Jersey. What a lot of people would like to know, Mr. Rowan, what goes into making a decision to donate this kind of money to an institution? Certainly it isn't an overnight decision. Well, first of all, a lot of time because uh, it's not an overnight decision. You're, you're right. Um, I think a recognition that uh, Education is pretty important, and that by controlling what happens to the funds we have created during our lifetime uh, is better controlled by us while we're living than uh, left to uh, the federal government in tax form uh, when we're no longer here. All right. Well, Henry Rowan, thank you very much for being our guest this evening. Enjoyed it. Thank you. Atlantic Company. They are calling it an historic occasion in the history of higher education in New Jersey. Glassboro State College is changing its name because of a huge contribution. The college will be named for Henry Rowan, an industrialist who is giving the school $100 million. Rowan appeared today with Governor Florio and Bunce Hall on the Glassboro campus. And so pending approval of the Board of Trustees, the name of the school will become Rowan College of New Jersey on September 1st. Much of Rowan's money will be used to establish the first engineering school in all of South Jersey. And it seemed to be an institution that was bent on progress and excellence and a place where uh, engineering could make a great contribution to South Jersey. Public Governor Florio called Rowan's contribution a huge down payment on New Jersey's high-tech future. The $100 million gift is the largest private donation to a public college or university in the history of American higher education. Dial 966-6666 or call our regional news bureaus. Talking about money, the largest gift ever made to a public college or university. Industrialist Henry Rowan and his wife have given $100 million to Glassboro State College in New Jersey. School officials say they will change its name to Rowan College. 
Glassboro State College got a boost with a $100 million private donation. The contribution from New Jersey businessman Henry Rowan is the second largest education donation in the United States. Parts of the funds will be used to create an engineering school, and in honor of the benefactor, the institution will be renamed Rowan College of New Jersey.